An ordinary anaconda, about 15 feet long, about four and a half meters, can catch a deer and break its ribs in five to ten seconds. Then who should this monster hunt with a length of more than 32 feet, about 10 meters? Are there still dinosaurs in Brazil? This is the largest anaconda in history, which was found in the state of Pada near the Altamira Caves. Remember this name. That's where we will definitely never go on vacation. If she could get up on the tip of her tail, she could look through the window of the fourth floor of a building. The most amazing thing is how it was discovered. In the Brazilian state of Para, a dam was being built for which they undermined the rocks near the Altamira Cave complex. A piece of stone broke off and opened a passage into the cave where the snake was found. She was alive, as the stones did not touch her. However, who knows, maybe this monster would have withstood the fall of a rock on her head. Just imagine the shock of the workers. By chance, they found a black hole in the ground, went there, and, like the characters of some blockbuster film, stumbled upon a snake the size of a bus. How would you react to this finding? Fortunately for the workers, the reptile was a little shocked by the explosion into the impudence of the pathetic people, so it did not attack anyone. People were lucky. With its size, only a special forces squad could have defeated the snake. After all, with a length of more than 32 feet, about 10 meters, it was almost 3 feet in diameter, a little less than a meter. That is, it was several times thicker than ordinary snakes. To lift up such the giant, you would need an excavator. And this means that such a snake could knock down a bull or a powerful stallion with one throw. If there were elephants in Brazil, they would be under threat. Such a big snake can easily kill even a young elephant. No, don't worry. No one has conducted experiments and the snake has not been pitted against other large animals. But if an ordinary anaconda is able to catch a deer, then this unique snake could probably defeat any beast of South America one-on-one. -on -one. Don't you agree? Most likely, this snake has grown to such a gigantic size due to suitable conditions a large amount of food, and warm saturated with moisture and oxygen, the air of its habitat. She probably fed on large animals that inadvertently entered her cave possessions. Usually, anacondas can survive without food for several months due to a very slow metabolism. However, this snake apparently never starved. But these are all assumptions. Some snakes are so much larger than their fellows in size that they look like the representatives of different species. It's like an ordinary German Shepherd would have a puppy that would grow up to be the size of a bear. But scientists still don't know why there are such giants among snakes. Although it is believed that the average length of an anaconda ranges around 15 feet, 4.5 meters, the lens of the researchers' cameras are increasingly getting specimens that are out of this statistic. Of course, everything can be attributed to the fact that researchers are increasingly climbing into the most impassable corners of the Amazon basin and can meet and film snakes there, which used to be only a legend of local tribes. But it is quite possible that the reptiles began really to grow much larger. After all, there are fewer jaguars and crocodiles, and the place of the super predator at the top of the food pyramid is empty in some places. Due to the lack of competition, the anaconda may well try to take the place of the king of the South American jungle. In this case, we have witnessed their evolutionary leap. What do you think? Answer in the comments. That's what travelers on the Amazon manage to capture on camera every now and then. How long do you think this snake is? It will not be possible to accurately measure, because for this you need to catch and pull the monster to its full height. And even John Wick wouldn't like that idea. Dealing with a few goons with a pencil is one thing. But diving into the water to this monster is quite another one. But since the anaconda swam close enough to the boat, it can be understood that its total length is approaching 25 to 30 feet, 7 to 9 meters. It's good that reptiles are too lazy to attack the boat. Perhaps if she was angered, 
she would be able to turn the ship over or even break it. In addition, sometimes there are more incredible shots, for example, where a snake swims across a fairly wide river not along, but across. It is difficult to estimate its real size, but they clearly exceed the average data, wouldn't you agree? It is especially scary to meet such a snake on land. Just imagine, you're walking along the shore and notice how something is wriggling nearby. And then you look, and you see how this something stretches the length of a huge tree, moves, and is clearly dissatisfied with your presence. There are several places in the world where the biggest snakes of our time live. These are regions with humid and very hot climates, the Amazon Basin, Central Africa, and the equatorial strip of Asia, India, Thailand, Cambodia, Malaysia. Asia was especially lucky. The biggest pythons live there, and not even one, but two different species. Officially, the length of this reticulated python ranges from 23 to 24 feet, 7 to 7 half meters. This is enough to hunt large antelopes and fight off leopards. However, there is evidence that these giants can grow up to 40 feet, 12 meters. Interestingly enough, they are much smaller in captivity than in the wild. Even despite the safety and abundant nutrition in zoos and terrariums, reticulated pythons rarely grow more than 15 feet, about 4 to 5 meters. Perhaps they are wasting away without the spirit of freedom, or it's all the fault of a large but limited habitat. But there is also a tiger python in Asia. It may well grow up to 16 feet, 5 meters, and this is practically the norm for this species. There are also larger specimens. Yes, this python is not as big as the mesh one, but it is very massive and powerful. There are local legends that pythons are found in Asia at least one and a half times longer. The evidence is difficult. If such a huge reptile gets into the camera lens, then it is possible to estimate its length only approximately. The argument of the supporters of the existence of such giants is very simple. If you meet such a snake in the jungle, then you will definitely not be up to filming. You will try to get away as soon as possible, and if you still try to get to the camera, well, who knows? Maybe pythons hate the paparazzi? Or rather, they love them, just in the gastronomical sense. Call Geralt, this is a job for the Witcher. But in 2017, one such giant still managed to be filmed. It happened on a farm in Indonesia, where one of the largest snakes in history was crawling. This reptile grew up to a length of more than 23 feet, 7 meters, and attacked the farmer who found it. Fortunately, the man who fought back and even managed to photograph the defeated enemy with the help of fellow villagers. To stretch the snake from head to tail like this, it took the efforts of several adult men, and this despite the fact that the reptile did not resist. I wonder how the farmer managed to defeat such a predator. If you were wondering why the data on big snakes are so contradictory, then just look over here. So, the man decided to shoot a huge boa constrictor that stretched along the wall of his house in Florida. A person is far enough away, as he thinks, and removes from the tail to the head. How do you like the ending? So, we went to dry our pants. Africa is home to an incredibly large hieroglyphic python, which can compete with any other snake for the title of the largest reptile in the modern world. What do you think is the length of this python? 12 feet? Or even more? Of course, no matter how brave the researcher is, trying to accurately measure a live and possibly hungry snake with a ruler in such circumstances is nonsense. Therefore, we can only guess. However, whatever the exact dimensions are, we know that such an African python is so huge that it is able to catch not only medium-sized antelope, but also a cow weighing a third of a ton. Python will digest such prey for several weeks. At the same time, such a snake is fast enough and has such a flexible spine that it can catch much more agile prey. For example, to lean over and grab a monkey. Therefore, small and super-fast animals cannot feel safe. 
Just for the python to get enough, you need not one monkey, but half of a pack of such primates. In the 1950s, they caught such a huge hieroglyphic python that it overcame and ate an adult crocodile. Usually, because of the very strong scales that play the role of a natural armor, crocodiles have an advantage over snakes, even despite the great length of legless reptiles. With the help of more powerful jaws, the crocodile is able to grab and defeat a snake one and a half times larger than itself. To do this, he will shake his head and hold the enemy in his teeth in order to inflict additional internal damage to the enemy by hitting the ground. But that python was so much bigger than even these advantages could not help his component. At the same time, the hieroglyphic python, even with its monstrous size, manages to be a dexterous lover of hunting on a tree. There, he runs the nests of birds, and if he is lucky, there are enough adult birds. It's amazing how the branches don't break under the weight of this monster. Now the hieroglyphic python is relatively safe. But its habitat is shrinking. More and more adult snakes are seen in African cities and villages where they crawl in search of food. And especially often, they crawl into the territory of farmlands, where they then hunt for livestock. Therefore, unfortunately, this species may soon become rare and endangered. If you think that only the largest unique pythons, which grow one and a half times larger than their fellows, pose a threat, then you are mistaken. Even an ordinary adult snake of this species can cause a lot of problems to a person. This individual was even less than 16 feet 5 meters, but fighting with these trained steel muscles is still a very, very bad idea. Even if a person managed to block the mouth and avoid being bitten, but don't worry, everything ended well for the man, and even for the reptile. This man was lucky to have his friends nearby. The snake did not wrap around the neck, but only around the man's arm. But it was enough for the guy to almost go to the bottom. He was saved by the help of others and the desire to fight for his life. The snake could not cause serious injuries, and since the man was squeezing the reptile's jaws, it did not even bite him. However, this situation was still extremely dangerous. So if you're going to be dealing with snakes, just stay away from them. By the way, if you would like to tell us about the rules of survival in case of contact with exotic animals, please let us know in the comments section. In 2016, one of the longest and heaviest snakes in Asia was found during construction work. It happened on the island of Penang in Malaysia. With the length of about 8 meters, approximately 26 feet, she weighed a quarter ton. During the clearing of the territory for a new property, builders noticed this giant reptile on a tree. They had no choice but to catch her. In order to prevent any casualties among the team or damage to the snake itself, this process dragged on for a long time. But as a result, the snake remained unharmed. You can see that her jaws were simply taped shut so that she could not bite anyone. After that, a group photo session was held with her. We hope that after the reptile was really released. It took a dozen and a half adult men to hold the snake in their arms. This snake broke the record, which has been held for years by a snake named Medusa. This is the name of the reptile, which is kept in Kansas City and has long been considered the largest snake that lives in captivity. Charming, don't you agree? Doesn't she deserve your like? In general, Medusa is not just a snake, but a real favorite of the house with the colorful name The Edge of Hell. This is an unusual place that has a reputation as a haunted house. The snake's owner, Larry Edgar, understands perfectly well that the reptile does not treat him with the devotion of a dog at all. The man takes care of the snake, but at the same time observes safety measures. First of all, the python should not feel any threat, although he is often stroked picked up and photographed with him, there can be no sudden movements and, moreover, unpleasant touches. If such a snake decides to escape, then even a dozen and a half people will not hold it. 
Fortunately, so far there have been no accidents. Would you like to meet her as guests of the house The Edge of Hell? In addition to caution, Larry observes another rule, regular feeding. In the wild, snakes have to go without food for a very long time, which makes them aggressive. Larry feeds Medusa about 30 pounds, or 14 kilograms, of meat every week. This is far from the limit. The weight of the snake itself is approaching 300 pounds. A rare sumo wrestler can boast of such dimensions. Even when the snake is calm, it still takes about 12 to 15 adults to lift it. It is known that Larry fed the Medusa whole carcasses weighing about 90 pounds at a time. But it's too expensive, and taking long pauses between feedings is really risky. After all, you never know when exactly such a monster will get hungry. That is, you'll find out, but it'll be too late. Therefore, it is wiser to keep the Medusa always full. What's your name? If you have owned one of the longest snakes in the world, what would you call it? Answer us in the comments. Another huge python has been found and caught in Malaysia, which claims to be the largest snake on the planet. A controversial statement, but you see that the snake is so huge that it is difficult for an adult man to lift even his head alone. People who have caught the reptile claim that it is almost twice as large as other snakes of the same species. According to their calculations, the length of this python reaches 45 meet 14 meters, and the record had to be fixed with the help of a special commission. Just to even catch the snake, pull it out, and measure it, this, it turns out, is not enough for the bureaucrats from the Guinness Book. Could you imagine? However, perhaps the size of the snake is really greatly exaggerated. However, its length still clearly exceeds 25 feet, 7.5 meters, which makes it one of the largest reptiles in the world that we know about today. You've been waiting for us to remember Australia, haven't you? A continent where even nettles can cause agony that will last for weeks, and one drop of the venom of a local spider will be enough for a whole entire herd of horses. There just had to be a huge snake monster. And it is here, of course, and it is the amethyst python. The largest snake in Australia reaches at least 20 feet, more than 6 meters in length. Although there are reports about individuals who grew up to 27 feet, 8.5 meters. Moreover, females are always much larger than males and can reach a weight of about 66 pounds, 30 kilograms. This snake prefers wet conditions. She loves swamps, ponds, where she swims perfectly. But still, she spends most of her time in the trees. In addition, it can also occur in rocky terrain where it hides behind rocks. Therefore, it is not as heavy as many other huge pythons, but probably the most beautiful. Its scales not only can vary greatly in color depending on the habitat conditions, but also have a bright metallic sheen. But it's better to admire this reptile at a respectable distance, don't you agree? The amethyst python relies most of all on its ability to feel the heat from afar, which is released by the organisms of animals, so it is most often to hunt mammals. For example, it attacked small kangaroos and other marsupials, and also snakes into farms where he attacks pets. The huge length and mass, of course, is cool and solid, but the gradual increase of any animal species is much slower than the decrease due to unfavorable conditions. That is, it takes literally a couple of generations of living in poor conditions for a young snake to become much smaller than its ancestors. But if the living conditions improve again, the former dimensions will return only in a hundred years. This means that animals grow to huge sizes only thanks to really, really good conditions. At least thanks to the presence of much more food. But why do snakes need such dimensions? A huge length is most often, though not always, needed by those snakes that hunt without poison. For them, size is a weapon, and the way they hunt is both frightening and fascinating. During hunting, such a snake either lies in wait for its prey, 
or slowly moves along the forest floor to remain unnoticed and sneak up to the strike distance. When prey is nearby, the snake makes a lightning throw. Instead of one pair of huge fangs, like venomous snakes, Pythons and boas have a whole set of small but very sharp teeth that are bent inside of the mouth. She holds her prey with them. It is not easy to escape from the grip of such jaws, but the bite is only the first part of the strategy. As soon as the snake stuns its prey, it should immediately take advantage of its shock and pounce with its whole entire body to start wrapping around the victim. These snakes are unable to chase, so if the victim can escape or fight back, the reptile will be left without lunch. Therefore, the main task of the snake is to immobilize the enemy. And that's why so much weight and length are needed. The whole body of the snake is its weapon, because from the neck to the tip of the tail, it has very powerful muscles. With their help, a python or a boa constrictor shoots itself during a throw and also wraps around the victim and strangles her. During the struggle with the victim, the reptile, of course, will not look for a long time for the neck of the prey to twist it. Instead, the snake completely captures the victim's body, and then the fight goes according to two scenarios. If the victim is not very big, then the snake crushes her ribs so the main damage is caused by damage to internal organs. And if the victim is comparable to a snake in size or even larger than it, then the snake can no longer cause such injuries and then it strangles for real and in a very unique way. The victim is in shock and breathes quickly to increase the blood flow and give the muscles more strength to resist but each subsequent breath turns out to be smaller and weaker than the previous one due to the fact that the snake squeezes the chest and stomach with each exhalation of the victim. Sooner or later, if the prey could not escape or injure the snake, it finds itself trapped. The lungs simply do not have enough space to straighten out on inspiration. Such a giant as an anaconda can catch and eat an entire adult crocodile in this way and deer and capybaras are generally easy prey for her. Scary, don't you agree? Well, that's not the worst part, because these snakes only have prehensile teeth. They can neither tear off pieces of meat nor chew them, so they swallow the victim whole. To do this, the snake stretches the throat and slowly, with effort, pushes the prey into the stomach where it will be digested by the predator's body for weeks. At the same time, such snakes can use their incredibly powerful muscles not only for hunting, but also for climbing trees. With its huge mass, an attempt to cr simply crawl up a vertical smooth column for a snake will obviously end in failure. Therefore, boas of different species have developed their own style of climbing trees. They encircle the pillars with rings, after which they consistently move upwards, pulling up each subsequent bend of their body. Of course, they do not harm the tree, but after all that you have learned about these creatures, it becomes very uncomfortable, and they definitely do not strangle trees. In any case, this manner of climbing allows even the largest specimens to climb closer to the crown of dense tropical forests where they can hunt primates and birds. Water residents should not feel safe either. These snakes swim just perfectly. According to some reports, an anaconda can reach a speed of about 15 miles per hour, 25 kilometers per hour, in the water that is more than twice as fast as the human swims. So if you are somewhere in South America splashing in the rivers and from afar you notice a snake swimming towards you with unhealthy interest, your only chance is to get out of the water as soon as possible. On land, you can easily escape from an anaconda if you notice it in time. There is no chance to break away in the water, unless of course you are on a motorboat. It is not surprising that these snakes like to spend time in the water. It supports their weight and allows them to feel much more free while hunting lizards and mammals that have come over here to drink. 
pythons in Asia also swim with pleasure and can hold their breath for a quarter of an hour or more to dive and hunt underwater. There was a snake in the world for which even legendary and unconfirmed giant pythons are like Pekingese against bulldogs. This is the largest and strongest snake in the history of the planet, Titanoba. This hulk lived about 60 to 55 million years ago, and its habitat included the territory of modern Colombia, although it may have been much, much wider. This huge snake was a super predator of its time. She could have hunted dinosaurs, and who knows, maybe that meteorite really harmed their population. But it was monsters like Titanoboa that finished them off. Believe me, when we talk about monsters, we are not exaggerating. This reptile grew up to 50 feet in length, more than 15 meters, and could weigh about a ton. The Titanoboa is longer than a trucker's truck and more than twice as heavy as a polar bear. Can you imagine how strong a reptile must be to move such a body without any limbs and to even hunt successfully at the same time? It was three times more massive than even the largest and most unique modern giant snakes. The width of the snake reached three feet, about a meter at least. Are you already glad that this creature died out so long ago? However, who knows? The jungles of Colombia have not been fully explored. Surprisingly, according to scientists, the Titanoboa hunted not the last dinosaurs, but fish. Yeah, he's a sushi lover. Of course, in order to get enough, she had to hunt much more often than modern boas. But at the same time, the waters of South America were teeming with life and incredible strength allowed this snake to develop an impressive swimming speed. So the pursuit of fish, and even in muddy river water, often ended successfully for this super predator. Interestingly enough, in those deposits that date back to the life of Titanoboa, scientists have not yet found fossils of any other predator of comparable size. This means that after the extinction of the dinosaurs, most likely the Titanoboa was the biggest predator not only in South America, but in general, in the world. And so it could go for hundreds of thousands of years. In addition, Titanoboa is the largest snake in history. But if she wasn't hunting dinosaurs, then why did she need such huge dimensions? Was the fish in those days also so monstrously large? In fact, Titanoboa could grow to such a size for two reasons. Firstly, after the disappearance of the water lizards, she simply had no competitors. Secondly, then the climate was much warmer. Climatic conditions strongly affected cold-blooded creatures than warm-blooded ones. Giant mammals may appear in cold climates, but huge reptiles no longer do. They need real heat. Here's another reason for you to worry about global warming. No need to thank me. Usually, it is non-venomous snakes that grow really huge. But there are also venomous giants in the world. First of all, this is the King Cobra. Contrary to popular misconception, she is far from the most venomous snake on the planet. But still, she does not wear the royal title for nothing. After all, she hunts other snakes and the most venomous and dangerous. Even reptiles that can kill an elephant with one bite are afraid of this monster. To hunt this prey, the King Cobra has a whole arsenal of advantages under its sleeve. This is both its own rather powerful poison and resistance to other people's toxins. But first of all, her weapon is huge. She easily overcomes even snakes in a duel, which read about six to seven feet in length. The King Cobra has a very powerful musculature and a huge head, and most importantly, its dimensions can reach 13 feet. And this is an average indicator. With a good enough diet, the King Cobra can grow about one and a half times more. There is evidence that a cobra can grow up to 19 to 20 feet, and this is the size of young pythons and boas. 
Occasionally, there are videos with such huge cobras, but it is not possible to accurately measure and document their dimensions. After all, king cobras are caught only when they crawl too close to human habitation. Frightened neighbors who catch a reptile can still take it on video, but of course no one will measure such a monster. They will lift you up and carry you as far as possible into the jungle. Not every snake has enough flexibility to rise vertically above the ground. This ability is a distinctive feature of the cobra. So the giant king cobra can rise about five feet above the ground when surveying the area. That is, she will tower over a leopard or a wolf and can look into a person's eyes practically being at the same height as him. The king cobra is so huge and strong that it sometimes hunts not only venomous, but also other giant snakes. For example, she can grapple with the python if it is still young enough. Their duel looks epic. The python is used to forming strangling rings around its prey. The cobra uses its mass differently. She just fights with another snake, tries to bend it under her, and combines the fight with venomous bites. The python is trying to break the cobra's ribs, or at least strangle it. But the poison has already entered the body. With such a difference in size, he has no chance. The king cobra can cope with larger snakes. Another venomous snake that can grow to the size of a python is the black mamba. The largest individual that has been recorded has grown to 14 and a half feet, about four and a half meters. But if the king cobra uses its size to fight the victim, then the black mamba acts much more frightening. This snake is one of the few snakes in the world that can actually chase its prey. And she needs a long body in order to develop a speed comparable to the speed of a running person. Yeah, the mamba will get tired a lot faster, but if you're leaning on burgers, then we have some bad news for you. <clears throat> The venom of the black mamba is fast, as is its bite. It spreads through the body very quickly, causing swelling, terrible burning pain, and sometimes tissue necrosis. It is a structurally complex poison that mainly acts as a neurotoxin and stops the breathing. If a snake bites your finger, then there are a couple of hours for the introduction of the serum. If it's in the face or chest, then only 30 minutes. Such a strong poison in large dimensions allow the black mamba not to be afraid of anyone except the honey badger and some predators that specialize in hunting poisonous snakes like the mongoose and the secretary bird. And even they have to make every effort not to turn into lunch themselves. Which giant snake struck you the most today? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. It's very interesting to be with us.